If you've been around the crypto world, you've probably heard the term DeFi, short for decentralized finance. People say it's the future of money, the future of banks, and even the future of the entire financial system. But what exactly is DeFi and why does it matter? In this video, I'll break it down in simple terms so you can understand the basics. Let's start with traditional finance. Right now, if you want to save money, borrow, trade stocks or send payments, you rely on banks, brokers or other financial institutions. These middlemen take fees, control access and sometimes even block transactions. The whole system is centralized, meaning power is in the hands of a few institutions. DeFi flips this system on its head. Instead of banks, DeFi uses smart contracts running on blockchains, mostly Ethereum. A smart contract is basically a piece of code that automatically executes agreements when certain conditions are met. No bank teller, no loan officer, no approval process. Just code running on the blockchain. For example, in DeFi, you can lend your crypto into a protocol and start earning interest instantly. Other people can borrow from that pool by putting up collateral and the smart contract makes sure everything is safe. If the borrower doesn't pay back, the collateral is automatically taken. No lawyers, no collection agencies, just code. You can also trade cryptocurrencies on decentralized exchanges called DEXs like Uniswap. These platforms let people swap tokens directly with each other using liquidity pools without a central exchange holding your funds. That means you stay in control of your money at all times. DeFi even lets you do more advanced things like yield farming, where you provide liquidity to earn rewards, or staking, where you lock up tokens to help secure a network and earn passive income. Basically, DeFi uh, recreates uh, many of the services banks offer, but without banks. So why is this powerful? Because DeFi is open to anyone with an internet connection. You don't need to live near a bank branch, you don't need perfect credit and you don't even need permission. Whether you are in New York, Lagos or Manila, you can access the same financial tools as anyone else. That's why DeFi is often called open finance. But DeFi isn't perfect. The technology is still new and smart contracts can have bugs. Hackers have stolen millions from vulnerable protocols. Transaction fees on Ethereum can get very high during busy times. And regulators are still trying to figure out how to handle a financial system that doesn't fit into traditional rules. So while DeFi has huge potential, it also carries risks that beginners need to understand. Still, the innovation is undeniable. In just few years, billions of dollars have flowed into DeFi platforms, creating an entirely new financial ecosystem that operates 24 7 globally and without permission. For many people, this feels like a glimpse into the future, a world where you don't need banks to save, borrow, trade or invest. To put it simply, DeFi is decentralized finance, financial services powered by blockchain and smart contracts instead of banks. It lets you lend, borrow, trade and earn all while keeping control of your own money. And that's what DeFi is, explained simply. If you enjoy this breakdown and want to keep learning about crypto in a clear and easy way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.